Hello everyone, it's Queen Keish and I'm back with another video. Alright guys, today what I have for you is some, I guess I roasted it, roasted snapper. Then I've also got some mussels in here, um, along with some, uh, what else I got in here? got some okra um, I love okra and then I season it also with some leeks um, I have lemons and limes some mussels and I stuffed it with some okra as well and some of these which I love. Mm -mm. Also some um, squash. I wouldn't even supposed to be eating it, you know. Some uh, red, red bell pepper. Mm, is that it? Oh, also my cilantro. My cilantro, my lime cilantro rice. I'm mean, not rice, but couscous. Cilantro and lime couscous. So, guys, let's get straight into it. Okay. Squash. Look at that squash. Mm mm mm. Why is it so good? Yeah, it's so good. So, y'all haven't seen me in a while. Not in a while, but it's been a week. Child. What happened was, I actually did film last week, but I had something going on. I wasn't feeling it, and I made something really good, too. I made, um, what was it, babe? Etouffee. I made shrimp etouffee. And I don't know what was going on with me that day, but honey, it, 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 it didn't work out for me. And I will ask Babe, because you know that's my cameraman, I will ask him to um, insert some pictures here. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Did you see that? I'll ask him to start insert some pictures here. Or here. Okay. So, um, yeah, that was that. I didn't forget about y'all, but, you know, a girl got to have a break every now and then. What's the name of these peas, babe? Snap peas. No, this not snap peas. I don't know, but these little flat peas here, not peas, but be yeah, whatever it is. These right here, I really like them. Huh? I included that in. Mm, this is so good. It's good to see y'all again. Okay, now with this couscous. This is my very first time making couscous. But from my understanding, this is something that you do not want to overcook. 
and um, you know, something just gotta be on like that. Okay, so this is cilantro in lime. That's what I chose to put in mine. Cilantro in lime. Let's give it a try. Come on, y'all. Let's get into this red snapper. Did I tell you guys this is red snapper? Let me tilt this over so you can see it. Oh, hold on. Let me say some muscle first. Mm -mm. Mm. That is so delicious, but I think I have a little bit of a shell in, in my mouth. That is so good. Mm, mm, mm. to find a, a pearl in um in um oysters this is crazy pearl? um this is something you found a pearl this is some hold on let me show you this i knew i was crunching on something what do you find in oysters i swear this look just like a i got my i got lipstick on it and it's two of two of them one tiny one and I wanna take the um it's got it's red because it got uh stuff on it. This is so crazy. Mother on it. That's crazy. I don't know what. It's got a pink tint to it because Wow. Look at that. You see wow. it? That's pearls? No, you said that's, you know, they said the, uh, so the like pearls are in oysters, but look at that. What is that? It's like a form of good luck. I don't know. Look wow. at that. That is so crazy, isn't it? So that's normal? Mm-hmm. Anywho, that was crazy. So, that was funny. So, I got me some squash. I don't know why this gotta be so good. Let's try muscle. Links. Let's try out some of these knee links.
Alright. Mm mm mm. My uh okra. I love okra. I don't care what no back tea say. Well, guys, excuse my absence from last week. She have a lot going on. I decided to serve my fish in the dish that I cooked it in because it was just so pretty anyway. Snapper. Who doesn't like snapper? Mm-mm. Mm. Let's try the couscous. So I got some leeks and an okra on my fork. And this is one of the things I have been obsessive. Obsessive? No. Obsessing over here lately. It's so good. It's really good. I got this from um a shop that I like to visit here in Atlanta. It's called Seven Under. And they've got just all kinds of stuff, really. I can't really even begin to tell you the things they got in there. It's just actually overwhelming a little bit squash squash no casserole He's a big one.
Mm. I forgot to tell y'all about um, this is some bad news. Y'all not gonna believe this. Leaks. So my husband we don't go out too much because we work a lot. Let me try to speed it up. We don't go out too much because we work a lot. But um we do try to support people when they invite us out. So I've had a little bit of depression going on, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Unless we know that he, you know, one of his clients. Has invited us out for a birthday dinner or gathering or what have you, you, you know. So. I'm not. Cool. Mm -hmm. So. So I'm getting myself together. While he's in my home. I'm sorry, y'all. It's too good. In a good old okra. Where I leave off it, boo. Um, in route, come on. <clears throat> I see what you don't know where I left off it. Disappointing move. Hmm? Something about disappointing move. Disappointing move? Just getting ready. To a party, we getting ready. Mm hmm. Okay. So, um, a lot of times I get ready for events in my mind. So, I kind of know what I have in my closet and In my mind, I think about, okay, I can wear this. I can wear that. I can wear that. But, and, and that's what I did this time. As per usual. However, this time, I went to my go-to black jeans. I got these black jeans that I kind of like to wear. Of course, I've got several pair of black jeans 
but these are my one pair of uh, ripped black jeans that I like to wear and when I I ain't gonna say when I put them on because it didn't happen uh long story short is the they didn't fit I was so upset guys when I tell you I want to cry I literally did I want to cry if my husband wasn't there watching me I probably would have shed a tear I'm serious I'm dead serious about that so it's definitely time for me to do something about that I was so upset. When I tell you I was so upset, I was so upset about this weight gain. And um, we do have a, um, a scale in our bathroom. And I knew that I was gaining, kind of, gaining some weight, but I just didn't want to face facts. <clears throat> So when I take a shower tonight, I didn't wait, I haven't weighed myself in a while. So when I take a shower tonight, I'm definitely gonna weigh myself and go ahead and face facts. So, you know, I can know exactly what I'm dealing with. But yeah. I damn near cried. Anywho, I guess let's move on. So, this is what I've eaten so far with my fish. Mm -mm -mm. Red snapper. Guys, last week I did film Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for me Mm -mm. Mm. Got lipstick <clears throat> if y'all have never tried uh, roasting your fish, do that. For one thing, it's very, it's healthy, and it tastes good. You know what? I don't want to be messy.
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to be messy. However, I have noticed, not really noticed, but it's just something that just, it just comes to my attention. It just, mmm. But, let me see. I don't want to do the rest myself. You know how I always say at the end of my videos or e even in between, like, share, and subscribe and stuff like that. But, um, dang, let me see. How you how? I don't sound bad. Bottom line is, people out here are saying like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and I do that. I do that a lot, and people want you to do that for them, and. They don't. You're asking for support, but you don't want you don't you don't support. How? How they work? How? I don't know. It's not a big deal, but I'm just saying. Just something I had on my mind. Because everybody says it, like, share, support, subscribe, but are you really doing it for someone else? I am. I wouldn't ask anybody else to support me if I'm not going to support you. And it's not a big deal, really. It's not a big deal. I'm just saying. It's just something I noticed. It's something I had on my mind a little bit. You can like, share, and subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm sure it's not going to make me or break me, but I would love to have you. You know, but um, that's just something that I had on my mind. Like, people always say like, share, and subscribe. The main people that says like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to be nice. The main people that says like, share, and subscribe. They won't support you. Hold on. Oh, Lord. This, might, this right here might not be another good one. Anyway. Don't ever ask someone for something that you're not going to provide or that you're not capable of providing for the next person and stuff like that. Like, don't ask somebody to like, share, and subscribe your videos and, and you ain't going to... You're not willing to do the same for the next person or for anybody in general, period. Period. Did I tell you guys about this uh, detox water and stuff like that? Anywho, I've been rambling on and on and on and on. Y'all. Another thing that I had on my mind is the fact that mine and my husband's anniversary is coming up. That ain't gonna be the way. <laughs> Peanut gallery. What'd you say, babe? Muck that ain't gonna be lit. Muck that ain't gonna be lit, he says. <laughs> really, boo? Yeah. Okay, so... Our wedding anniversary is coming up. And I'm excited. I'm excited. We always do some little stuff for each other and stuff like that, you know. Ooh, I got a quick story time for y'all. Real, real quick. So... Um, 
I'm an only child. So, uh, I'm an only child. I ain't gonna say so therefore, but I'm an only child. So I grew up by myself. I've been my, by myself all my life. All my life, I've been by myself. And uh, so, you know, I don't have a lot of friends and stuff like that. And uh, a funny thing is, um, the lady that does my hair, I think I spoke about her before. I'm trying to speed this up. I think I spoke about her before. I'm pretty sure I have. But um, I spoke about her before. And let me get my thoughts together. I got really like emotional one time when I was getting my hair done. So, like, me thinking about our anniversary coming up, it just brought this back to my, you know, to my mind that, um, I was getting my hair done one day, and the lady that does my hair, one of the women that does my hair, I told you guys that um, Shekana does my hair, and this other lady does my hair, and I will put the link below, hopefully, because she is such a sweetheart. I really, really like her a lot, and so... I've been through so much in my life that um, I didn't even I didn't even know if I was gonna get married or not. And so for me to find a mate was just it just it's 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 a big deal to me, you know. So um, I was getting my hair done one day, and we were talking about it, and she was talking about finding a mate as well. And we were just like going back and forth and bonding on that subject. And a lot of times when I talk about it, talk about um, me and my husband, like um, getting together and finding each other and getting married and stuff like that. It makes me emotional. I ain't gonna lie, hell, it makes me emotional. Shit, I mean. And so this time, it was one of my first times to get my hair done by this lady too. And I started to tear up. Next thing you know, tears were flowing, child. Like, our bond is so special. It just, sometimes it, when I talk about it, it brings me to tears because, oh Lord, I hope I don't tear up now. Just, you know, finding a mate is somebody that really really cares about you you know all that all that stuff I'm trying to make sure all that stuff it just it's a big deal you know and so um i just was so embarrassed that day kind of a little bit <laughs> after i left because um i started to cry like i had tears like tears and um I was like, I'm so, when I told her, I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't mean to get so emotional and stuff like that, but I am an emotional person. And, um, she was like, that, that's cool. You know, it just, it just, it, to her, I think she was saying that it was re, re, refreshing that, you know, it's out there for you to find a mate and to find somebody that's going to, you know, it's going to have your, your, uh, That's gonna um, that's gonna love you like you need to be and like you deserve to be loved, you know. So that was my little small story time on that. And um, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that and the way we met soon because, like I said, our anniversary is coming up very very soon and. That's my babe. And all that. So, y'all, I feel like it's some more stuff I want to tell y'all, but I'm just going to go on and wrap it on up. Make sure you like, 
share, subscribe, and you know what you got to do. You got to turn your notifications on. You got to turn your notifications on. Why don't you turn your notifications on? That way, you will be in the know. And you'll know when your girl drops a video and brings you all of this deliciousness. Okay? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!